Is this a real or a fake gemstone? Go ahead and put your best guess in the comments and I'm gonna show you how a gemologist figures out what this is. There's something special about that blue sheen and it could be a big clue as to what this is, so let's start testing. First off, since every gem bends light a little differently, we're gonna use the refractometer to measure how this gem bends light. It's not a super clean reading, but it looks like we're around a 1.55 or so. And of course, we know quartz can have this RI, but feldspars can as well. Using the polariscope, we're not getting a clear reading and that's because of the many inclusions in this gem and that's preventing us from seeing how this reacts. With UV light, we can also see it's not reactive, just a little leftover glue on the edge here. Lastly, let's take a closer look at this iridescent sheen in the microscope. This gem has a lovely blue-green iridescence, and this is happening in a very unique and interesting way. Inside the gem, there are a ton of tiny microscopic layers stacked and interwoven with each other, and when light hits them, the light waves bounce around and interfere with one another, and that's what's creating this beautiful iridescent sheen. But you can't see it from every direction. Looking from the side, the iridescence disappears, but then when we flip it over, over its back. This phenomena is quite unique and it was actually named after this gem. This is called labradorescence. And of course that means this is labradorite feldspar. So did you get this one right?